So I've owned the DJI Mavic 3 for one year, and in this video, I'm gonna go over everything you need to know. Let's talk about it. If you like today's video, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button, but let's jump into the topic. So I've broken down this video into three categories, pros, cons, and durability. So first, we're gonna jump into the pros of the Mavic 3. Mavic 3 with its four-thirds camera and Hasselblad sensor, shooting 5.1K video at 50 frames per second and 4K video at 120 frames per second, along with 20 megapixel RAW photos and JPEGs. The drone also has a bunch of safety features like all-around obstacle avoidance and has a much longer lasting battery, which gives you longer flight times compared to the Mavic 2 and other drones in the DJI lineup. Some of the cons are the drone is pretty expensive. The base model only offers eight gigabytes of internal storage compared to the top notch model, which offers one terabyte SSD. The automatic navigation is not nearly as good as other drones like SkyDuo, although I don't really think that this drone is really meant for what the SkyDuo drone is meant for, so just putting that out there. The telephoto camera doesn't really look that good unless you're shooting in seven times. If you're going any further than that, it just doesn't look that good and it's not really usable. And even though I just credited the drone for having a way better battery life than the Mavic 2, it actually does fall short of the 46 minutes that DJI rated it when the drone came out. I noticed for me personally, I get about 35 minutes but also please take into account that I live in Arizona in the desert where it's very hot and that definitely puts a lot more stress on the battery. The Mavic 3 starts at $2,200, whereas the Mavic 2 started at about $1,700, so definitely more expensive, as I just mentioned before. And the Cine model, which is the top-notch model that shoots Apple ProRes, starts at $5,000. So definitely a big difference here. And another con that I found is that if you get the base model, which comes in the Fly More combo or just the drone itself, Itself, you are going to get the cheap remote controller with no screen on it that relies on your phone. So if you want a better remote controller and a better experience and you don't want to deal with your phone overheating or losing its display brightness, then you're definitely going to want to pick up one of the smart controllers, which the one that I bought was about $1,200. So not a cheap drone, not cheap accessories, which is going to price a lot of people out. It's very much a drone that's geared more toward the professional versus the consumer. So now let's talk about the durability of this drone because after one year, that's really gonna be the biggest thing that you're looking for. We really have known the specs. It's how does it hold up over time? Now my drone gets used quite a bit because I use it for work and it's gotten in a lot of flight hours. And overall, the drone has held up really well over a year. I have never crashed this drone before, so that's part of the reason why, but it's very hard to crash a drone, especially nowadays with all the technology they have. When you let go of the controls, they basically hover in place. Unless you're doing some like really risky flying close to trees and obstacles, it's gonna be really hard to crash Mavic 3. The camera still shoots beautiful pictures and video footage, and honestly, the drone operates better than it did on day one because of all of the software updates that DJI has done to the drone over the course of its release. I have flown this drone pretty much only in Arizona, so it's been dealing with the hot desert temperatures in the summer when it gets upwards of 110 degrees. During those flights, I noticed that it can get a little laggy because of the heat. As soon as I switched over to that smart controller, a lot of that went away and I actually have dealt with a drone that stays connected to the remote controller. Unlike with the other remote controller, it would disconnect sometimes, which was really scary. With the smart controller, it's never disconnected. It always has a solid connection, and I'm always able to see what's going on through the screen. Honestly, if you do have the Mavic 3 and you don't have the smart controller, I would recommend updating to that controller because it'll make your user experience a lot better. I have not had to send in my drone for any repairs. There have been no defects with the drone, and honestly, it's been great over this last year. And the fact that it's gotten better from its release 
is a bonus. I will be bringing the drone to Hawaii soon, so definitely stay tuned to the channel for a bunch of that content. Yeah, I just wanted to make a video going over what it's been like to own this drone for the past year, and honestly, I don't regret buying it. I would buy it again. I would buy a second one. But if you enjoyed today's video, definitely give it a thumbs up, and also make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. That way you don't miss any other videos here on the channel. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.